To know how many sets work best for muscle growth for you, you need to start the training plan with what is proposed by science and then adjust it according to your individual needs. I will show you how to do that by first showing you what was proven by 20 studies on this topic and then giving you some practical recommendations on how to incorporate these results into your program. So let's start with science. First, we have a review and meta-analysis by Sonnenfeld and co-workers in 2017 that analyzed 15 studies on this topic. They concluded that the more sets you do on a muscle per week, the more hypertrophy you gain. More specifically, they found that each additional set per week was associated with a 0.37% increase in muscle growth. Note that these sets don't have to be executed within a single session and they are more often separated into two or even three training sessions. So this review suggests that the more you increase the total number of sets per week per muscle group, the better results you can expect in your muscle hypertrophy. Of course, for all this to happen, you need to train hard enough in each set. But what is the upper limit of how many sets you can do per week to optimize muscle growth? Well, most of the studies that were included in this review used a low number of sets. This led the authors to categorize the trials in less than 5, 5 to 9, and 10 plus sets. However, since the upper limit of most of these studies was close to 9 to 12 sets, I think that it's safer to say that this 10 plus group was more of a 9 to 12 set group. This way, the result of this review is more likely that increasing the weekly number of sets up to 9 to 12 is more effective for hypertrophy gains than doing less than this number. But what if you train with 20 or more sets per week? Are there any studies about this? Well, yes, there are. Six studies have investigated the effects of 6 to 45 sets and the results are mixed. First, Brigato and co-workers in 2022 examined the effects of 16, 24, and 32 sets on muscle hypertrophy of the biceps, triceps, and vastus lateralis. These sets were divided into two weekly sessions and participants trained for a total of 8 weeks. The results favored the 32 sets group in all muscle groups. So in this study, training with even up to 32 sets per week kept showing benefits for hypertrophy. A 2015 and 2019 study found similar results. First, Radelium co workers in 2015 compared 6, 18, and 30 sets on the biceps and 9, 27, and 45 on the triceps. On the other hand, Schoenfeld and co workers in 2019 compared 6, 18, and 30 sets on the biceps and the triceps and 9, 27, and 45 sets on the quadriceps. Both of these papers found that more sets led to more gains. These three studies show that the more sets you do, the more you increase hypertrophy. And so far, there doesn't seem to be an upper limit on how many sets can benefit muscle growth. However, in another three studies, the results were different. Hisselgrave and co-workers in 2019 examined the effects of a 6-week training program with either 6, 18, or 30 sets on the biceps. They found the 18 sets to be more beneficial for muscle growth than the 6 and 30. So in this study, going over 18 sets per week was detrimental for muscle hypertrophy. On the other hand, an older study from 1997 by Ostrovsky and co-workers found something different. After a 10-week training program on the triceps with either 9, 14, or 28 weekly sets, authors reported that the 14 and 28 set groups showed similar hypertrophy gains while both were better than the 9 set group. So here, benefits were found as the sets increased to 14, but no additional gains were found when the sets were increased to 28. And the third study from 2022 found similar increases in hypertrophy of the quadriceps between 12, 18, and 24 sets. So when training with higher number of sets, we have three studies that showed an increase all the way to even 45 sets in some muscle groups, one study that showed an increase until 18 sets but decreased gains at 30 sets, a second study that showed an increase until 14 sets but no additional gains when trained with more, and the last study that showed similar gains from 12 to 24 sets. The easy conclusion that we can make from this line graph is that from 10 to 20 sets, there is a consensus in the literature. For this reason, this is probably the ideal range to start a hypertrophy training plan. 
However, the mixed data that we get above 20 weekly sets indicate that based on individual variability and different training factors, training in that range could benefit some individuals. Now, there are some strategies to understand how many sets could work for you, and in this video, I'm going to show you where to start from. The sure thing for now is that 10 to 20 weekly sets are better for muscle hypertrophy than less than 10 sets. But is this the same for untrained and trained individuals? Most of the 15 studies included in the review had untrained individuals. However, the remaining 6 studies I presented were all in trained males. So yes, 10 to 20 weekly sets are most likely better for muscle hypertrophy than less than 10 weekly sets both for trained and untrained individuals. But what is the right number of sets for you? Should you stop what you do and quickly save to 10 to 20 sets? Well, according to a 2020 study, doing a dramatic change to your program will probably lead to less hypertrophy gains compared to a more effective method that they discovered. In this study, they had participants trained with different sets on each leg in the leg extensions and leg press. Each participant trained their one leg with 22 sets. However, on their other leg, they trained with 20% more sets than their usual program. So to give an example, if they had three participants that used to train with 10, 14, and 20 sets, they would all do the experiment with 22 sets on their one leg, but on their other leg, they would train with a personalized number that would be only 20% more than what they used to do. On this example, these numbers would be 12, 17, and 24 sets respectively. The surprising results of this study showed that the leg that followed the personalized program had more gains in muscle hypertrophy than the leg that trained on the prescribed 22 sets. So this study shows that going directly to a magic number without taking into account what you were previously doing in your program will most likely lead you to less hypertrophy gains. Now let's see how to combine these results to form your program. Based on your individual characteristics, you can answer the questions of this flowchart and get a good idea of where to start from. So first, do you have training experience? If not, and you're just starting out in the gym, it's reasonable to start with the lower end of that 10 to 20 sets range. You can gradually progress to more sets within that range according to your progress and the rest of your training variables. On the other hand, if you do have training experience, it all depends on how many sets you're training with so far. First, if you're training with less than 10 sets per week in each muscle group, increasing them to the recommended number of 10 to 20 will most likely increase your gains. The best way to do that, as shown in the 2020 study that we saw before, is with 20% increments every couple of weeks. On the other hand, if you're training within the recommended range, you first need to ask yourself if you're making progress with what you do. If you are, my advice would be to not change something that is already working especially when that something is within the recommended guidelines. However, if you're not getting results, then there are two things you can do. First, since you're already training with the recommended number of sets per week, make sure that you're also training with the recommended reps, intensity, frequency, rest intervals, and exercise type. In other words, make sure that you're all set with the remaining training variables because there's a big chance that the number of your weekly sets is not your main issue. However, if you've already done that and you're sure that the rest of your training variables are already at a good level, then you might be one of the people that need to train with higher number of sets to get results. Individual characteristics highly determine this and it might be the case with you. To test that, you can increase your weekly number of sets by 20% every 2 or 3 weeks and keep track of your progress. If you start getting results, you can maintain this number or go for slightly more. On the other hand, if you're already training with more than 20 sets per week, things are more complicated. First, even if you do get results, there's always a chance that doing less could result in more gains. In general, if the program works for you, it makes sense to keep it the way it is. However, you could do a small test of a short training period of 6 to 8 weeks, where you could train with fewer sets and keep track of your progress. If you get better results this way, you can consider that approach for future training plans. If not, then higher training volumes are probably suitable for you and you will know that for a fact. However, if you train on that range and don't see the results that you want, it would be wise to lower your weekly sets below 20 and make sure that the rest of your training variables are well planned. So now you have a good idea of how many sets you should do for muscle hypertrophy. 
but how many repetitions should you do per set to get the optimal results? You can learn in this next video.